On March 3rd, 1836, Colonel William Barrett Travis drew his sword and used it to draw a line right about here in what was then a dirt courtyard. To his battle-weary men, he described the hopelessness of their plight and then said, those prepared to give their lives and freedom's cause come over to me. Thus was sealed the fate of the defenders of the Alamo. Texas was originally a part of the Spanish Empire, but later became a Mexican state when Mexico won her independence. At that time, the Alamo was abandoned, and only the chapel was used for religious purposes. Eventually, the tyrant Santa Ana took over the country, stripping Texas of her rights. The freedom-loving Texans rebelled. Skirmishes took place. In one of those encounters, General Coase, brother-in-law of Santa Ana, was routed from the fortress that he had made of the Alamo. The Texans took over, and Santa Ana vowed revenge. From the north, east, and west came Davy Crockett and his mountain men. Jim Bowie, and many others, including Spanish-speaking residents of Texas who also loved freedom enough to offer their lives for it. Waiting for them at the Alamo was Colonel Travis and his handful of men. As all reached the Alamo, the reinforcements were welcomed. Soon a state of siege existed with a little over 180 Texans surrounded by 5,000 Mexican regulars. Bombardment was constant but ignored. Assault was frequent, but repelled. As Santa Ana threw his men again and again against the Alamo, its defenders became wounded, weary, and hungry, but their spirit never flagged. At dawn on the morning of Sunday, March 6th, the final bloody assault was unleashed by Santa Ana. At a terrible cost, his troops finally poured over and through the battlements, finally forcing the defenders to retreat to the chapel. Meanwhile, Jim Bowie, already near death, was slain on his cot in this building, but not before he emptied his weapons into the invading masses. Davy Crockett made his final stand here, near the door to the trap. He fired muzzle-loading rifles into the Mexican invaders until his men could no longer load and hand them to him fast enough. Overrun, Crockett seized his rifle by the muzzle and, using it as a club, took more than a score of the enemy with him before he was dragged down and slain. Now the battle raged here, inside the chapel. Defenders were forced apart into small groups, and one by one, each group fell before the withering fire and sharp bayonets of Santa Ana's troops. itself lasted less than an hour. Santa Ana defeated in victory, the courageous Texans victorious in death. The example set here gave other men the courage to complete the task of freeing Texas from the yoke of tyranny, and has inspired men of more recent times to risk their lives in the cause of freedom.